Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are in, um, what is it, Menorah, Yokan, next to Alexander Park, to film a Route 19 deviation, which actually happens quite regularly. Almost half the services in the weekend probably, I think, do the deviation. And a few on weekdays too. It's just a little square, just a few stops away from here, around, I think, another retirement area. But it's still just weird that it does a random square, when of course the routes could be routed in a different way to go through there more often. So we're just gonna film it. The bus should come to this stop any moment. Also, this is a very weird intersection. Have you seen this? Look, it's like a crescent, but then it connects straight out onto this road at a very smooth angle with no giveaway sign or anything but then from this direction it's a very sharp turn if you want to go there and that's what the bus does it comes down here and then goes back there and i see it coming down now so we'll get on board and film this little deviation trip bus stop 16806 
and there we are that was route 19 deviation we are now at Flinders Square now I actually did film that deviation over a year ago in 2023 um, but I didn't manage to get the front seat so now I just realized I can just go in it again and I can't even remember the route anyway and I filmed the deviation route 19 is so strange like it's another one of those low numbered routes it's only the second number that's not a cat route in use um, after the 15 and it just goes up Fitzgerald Street and Alexander Drive and then travels through suburbs of Menora, Kulbinia and Yokine and has that deviation to the retirement home that's a common deviation though almost every trip does it um, and it was used by two people two elderly people so that makes sense uh, at least I got that film it's quite nice those suburbs are very good um, and then it terminates here at Yokine Dog Storm Shopping Center which this place is really not that far from the city. You can take all the 38X routes here as well and stop on one road or the 970. But you can also take this. A lot of people take it to the terminus. And yeah, we're here now at the back. Now this terminus is also served by two other routes, one of which I'm about to travel on right now. So the 19 is the most frequent one to this terminus. Then we also have the 354, which is a really strange route between Mirabuka bus station and this terminus which is very similar to the 384 which goes from Mirabuka to Perth but it's a little bit different and just terminates here so there goes our bus now 2709 on the 19 it's 202 p.m. so that's leaving and now in three minutes time the 354 which is already here 2895 will be operating and the final route that goes from here is the 96 extension from Leaderville Station to here, also a few times a day, which I also filmed that one over a year ago, but again I didn't get the front seat and I also didn't start it from here, so I guess I might have to refilm that. Also included as part of this video for the three Yokai routes, but anyway, I'm gonna get on this weird 354 now, just I guess film the whole thing. So let's go.
and there we have it, the full 354. Uh, from Yokain to Mirabuka. There was one passenger who got on in the Yokain and one passenger who got on in between, but both were with the shared 970 stop, so they could have literally just taken the 970. That's 2895 right there. Um, pretty weird route, I don't really know what resulted in it ex its existence. But yeah, it just operates up there, pretty much shared with the 970, all the way up Flinders Street, then just turns into Nolamara Avenue. Has a very short, unique section there, only for the 354. Then joins with the 384 and travels the same as that, all the way to Mirabuka. There's a lot of typical Mirabuka characters here already. I actually haven't been at the bus station for several months, but already I see why not. Like, I really shouldn't be coming here, because it's actually literally the worst bus station. So many weird people, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna take the 384 now as well because I actually have not taken it, which is crazy. It's actually a one road route 38x, but I have not taken its section from Mirbuka to one road, although most of it's the same as what I just took. And then hopefully, I can film the 96 as well and include it as part of this oddities video over to Yokine. So I'll just do that. And continuing this video with the 96 now, we're at this stop just across from the Yellow Cat West Perth Terminus, if you want to say, in the free transit zone, 2809, obviously only serving the 96 here, and normally it would only be two more stops to Leaderville Station from here, although that's not free, only the one stop is free and then it's two section fare. As you can see, and that's almost every single trip, except these three which extend to Yokine. And I'm gonna be taking this one right now, 4.51, even though it's like five minutes early for some reason. I just got here with the yellow cat and ran through the underpass just in time. Um, but although there is a quite a bit of traffic, so it might be a bit later. Yeah, so just those three trips. Now I guess that acts like Sort of like, nah, actually no, it's not really a school time extension. I don't really know what it's for, but it goes to the same terminus we were just at for both the 19 and 354, so if anyone knows why. So I'm gonna get on hopefully the front seat's free. It's gonna go through Leaderville Station, then go back out onto Loftus Street and head up to Yokine. And the rest of the route is just like crawly through QE2 and up Thomas Street, just like the Purple Cat, literally the same, so. Nothing special to film with that.
there we are, ain't the same terminus we were with the 19 and 354 at Yolkheim. Um, that is a really weird service, I really don't know why it exists. People at Leaderville got so confused because this one is scheduled to be departing around the same time as one going towards Crawley as well, so they didn't know what's going on. And people on the bus were confused, they already got on and started going the wrong way. And they're like, what? Which way are we going? Where are we going? What is this? I thought this is 96. Yes, it is 96, but it's a deviating service. I also spotted a mistake on the bus stop just before the second last bus stop on, or third last bus stop on the route. It actually has 96 and it has A extends to Yokain even though you're already on the extension so that doesn't really make sense and then it says C operates on school days only but all the trips which do operate on school days only are obviously also the extension trips so they should either say AC or just remove the A thing altogether. Um, so that was that and also the schedule is so bad I don't know why it's scheduled it's almost a full hour from Crawley to Yokain it's really not that long the bus got significantly held up in traffic along Thomas Street but that traffic may not always be so bad so and it's not that bad it's gonna be really early and then at Leaderville it still had to wait five minutes as the time stopped at Leaderville station five whole minutes even though it got held up in traffic um, on Thomas Street and then here it's scheduled 30 minutes from Leaderville to Yoka and that makes zero sense it's literally like 15 I think we were over 10 minutes early Unbelievable. But yeah, that's it. That's all the Yokai deviations now. We're finished. Thank you for watching um, this deviation video. And we're gonna end this here. Bye!